Hello everyone, this is Matt from Real World Review, and today we're going to be unboxing the Pixel 6a, as well as the Pixel Buds A series. I don't really have a knife with me, but I do have this camera, which I can take this little Allen wrench out, and I can try and open up the box. So, let's see how that works. And it looks like it did work, so that's awesome. Let me put that back. And here are the two devices. It's kind of interesting, all they do is just put crushed up paper for the padding. This is the Pixel 6a, it comes in Sage, that's the one that I chose, that I think looks the best. And it does only come in 128 gigabytes. This is pretty much the box, super thin, so let's peel this thing off. And lift up the box. So here's the phone, I love how they have this little like pull tab that you can lift up to take it out, but let's put that over to the side and show you what you get in the box. So it comes with a USB-C charger, honestly it feels kind of cheap and kind of looks used. Maybe it is, maybe it's like refurbished or something, I don't know. The funny thing is it comes with this little adapter too to transfer information, which is fine, but most of the time you can do that wirelessly. I just don't understand why they include this, but not an actual charger. And then there's this little box up here that says Google Tensor, but it has the information on how to use the phone or just the basics, as well as security information and safety information. And then it has this nice little SIM ejector, which I'll leave in place. But yeah, Pixel 6a, Tensor, close up this cheap little box. Honestly feels so flimsy. I don't know if that's good for recycling or whatever, but honestly looks and feels cheap and isn't really the best first impression. The most ironic thing that I can think of is if it is for recycling, this completely defeats the purpose. These are the Pixel Buds A series and it has a plastic thing around it and yeah, that's not good for the environment. But the rest is cardboard, at least what it looks like. Everything looks recyclable. So on the top we get the buds, we can take those out and we get this little carton thing, another separator, I don't know why. And then we get the weirdest one, the USB-C to USB-A plug, which is weird because, okay, this looks kind of dirty, like used already, I don't know. But it's weird because they don't have a USB-A charger ever, except for, for the buds, I guess. So if you ever bought a Pixel, you're not going to be able to charge this without a separate adapter. That's kind of frustrating. Then we get ear tips, which are small and large. And spoiler, I had to choose the large ones, even though I normally go with the medium ones that come with it. But I'll explain that briefly in the Pixel 6a review video. So we can take off this little plastic thing. Again, not really the best for recycling or being green, but okay. And here we are. We have the buds, which are green. I chose like the olive ones or whatever they're called. And then here's the phone. So let's peel this off. And power on the phone. Maybe. Okay, there we go. Looks nice. Definitely seems like it's already collecting dust, which is fun. And it looks pretty premium. On the side, we got the aluminum frame and we got the power and volume buttons like this. We got the SIM card tray on the other side, charging port and speaker on the bottom, and on the top, nothing except for antenna lines and a microphone. So I'm just gonna skip through this so we can get all set up and see how the phone works. And so far it looks all right. The one thing that I want to check though, as I've been hearing, even though you buy an unlocked one, it does not come with OEM unlocking, which may not be anything for anyone, but for those that want their bootloader unlocked, they need this. Apparently there is going to be a software update that comes out, but so far nothing has happened. So now let's open up the camera. Looks nice. Front one looks nice as well. You got the ultra wide, you got the standard and Okay, what just happened there? Okay, let's go to video and it says your lens may need cleaning. Okay, this is a new phone, but whatever. And yes, this can do 4K at 60 frames per second, which is kind of crazy for a cheap device like this. But I guess that's not too bad seeing that the iPhone SE can do the same thing. And then for the camera, there's not really that much of a camera bump. But honestly, I think it's kind of nice that they left it like this instead of making it flat. Then the back is supposed to be plastic, something like that. Oh yeah, and then the buds. So let's get those paired. So let's put these in pairing mode. Okay, just try that again. Am, am I doing something wrong? I got Wi-Fi, I got Bluetooth on. Not close enough. 
Okay, it looks like I'll have to go into Bluetooth mode to pair this or whatever, so let's power this off. Yeah, nope, that's not what I wanted. Okay, but you have to do volume up and power to turn off the phone. You can change that in the settings, but I forgot that it's on by default. But yeah, that's my unboxing of the Pixel 6a as well as the Pixel Buds A series. Let me know if you have any questions. I will be doing a review on the Pixel 6a as well as some other videos with that phone. So let me know what you want to see in those videos. Socials are listed here, comments are below, and as always, thanks for watching.